Hi, I'm Daniel Rivera, and I'm showing you how to reprogram a lock if a lock is dead or if it needs to replace the batteries. There are three things you need. Well, multiple things. The first thing is you'll need a service computer. Uh, it's in, located in the Director of Plan Operations, Jerry St Jerry's office. It's there. You'll need the, also the service cable. This Note that it comes in two pieces. There is the end as uh, a 10 pin end that connects to an RJ11 jack and the USB end. You need to make sure they're both connected and secure. Now, you'll take that and come to the copy room here in IO. This computer is the FOB computer. This is the one that runs all the, the system. Now in here, uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, on, the t on the task bar on the bar, Nearest the middle is a Vision Online. You'll click that, you open that up, you'll use your password, use your ID and password. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be made for you by then. Hopefully you're here and I'll get it to you. So let's type that in. Now hit enter. Now it'll, it's gonna ask you to place your fob on the reader here. Fob, reader. Take it, you're in. You close any warnings that pop up for now. Okay. Now what you'll need to do on the, the service computer, it's gonna be look different. That's a silver Dell. This is my personal one, but I'll show you. So now we're gonna open up, if you can see. Let's go just double check the video. Oh, you cannot see as well. Okay, so right here, right by Grogu, Lock Service 3G. That is the program we open. Now as it opens, you can see here, we're going to download data from server. That's the thing we need here. You want to check all boxes, and you want to make sure it says Vision Online Server. Now before we hit download, we need to take an Ethernet cable. What are these bad boys? We're going to plug one end, into the reader, well, into your laptop, and the other into the this little router, well, yeah, this little hub back here. You do not use the first port. That port is bad, it does not work. We don't know why, it just doesn't work. Any port that's not the first, you plug it in. Once it's in, then you hit download. It's gonna ask again for your username and password. Enter, and as it goes, there's a progress bar down here, so you all know, was downloading, and then eventually it's gonna pop up saying, download data finished. Yeah, download data from server finished. Okay, now we're set. For a cold start or a power open, you have 30 minutes from that point to take care of what you need to do. If you need to restart, you have to do this again. So now, we're gonna take this and reprogram the copy room door. Just because it's right here. Hi honey, are you okay? Now, I will turn the camera around. This is the door we're gonna use. Now that we actually have the tokens that we need to reset the lock, we need a, either if the door is completely closed and dead, it's a power open, you plug, but first, we're assuming the door is open, we just need to change battery. So now, the reader here, can we see it? Oh, they recut it. Okay, yeah. So, these are these are covers, they just turn them uh, it? counterclockwise. Sometimes they're a bit stiff, they're a bit stiff. Oh, they're really stiff. Yeah, this one's broken, so don't worry about this one, this one's broken. Yeah, don't worry about this one. So, you expose, that's where that, that service cable connects. You see here, this, those line up. When you plug it in, you wanna, it's very softly, you don't jam it in, you're gonna break it and you're gonna break the door. So now, you expose the, the lock, take a Phillips head screwdriver, and unscrew. You don't wanna use a power drill, you're gonna strip the lock, and no, you have a bad time. You open it this way, there we go, and take the two. You kind of want to have something to catch on to. Now that we have those two screws out, 
I generally use a flat head just to pop this little corner. Now you exposed it. This is where the batteries are. So you have three double A's. Usually you can you come with three double A's. Now what we'll do is we're gonna actually take all batteries out of the lock. There's nothing in. These are garbage, you'll put them away later. Now just to ensure that there's no power, we want to just read it, it's not gonna work. We just want to put it there just to put it there. Please drain power. Now we are ready for the cable. So assuming we're gonna do a power open, like the listen. Say we need to pull it in the lock, generally this is the steps you do each time, even if the lock is completely dead and you have to power it open first. But first, on the laptop. Now when you were, let me see, can we see? Now, you want to just double check on the right side here, it says Vision Online Server, right above. When you Once you plug in this cable, you can choose something here. But you need to make sure you have something selected, it's an FTDIO, that's the, the name of the label. So now that you have that selected, now you've been, now we can go over to essentially we're going to cold start. That's if we want to, we're restarting the lock as if it's like a completely dead lock, completely new, doesn't know what it is or what it's doing. Power open is if the door is dead and you just uh, hurry up and give it enough juice to open up right now. Sometimes you need to do that first to get it open so we can get here and then we'll do it all again with the cold start. But assuming we got this open, we're doing a cold start. So now we're cold start. I'm going to double check that is selected before you start. Now, before you plug it in, you have to start. Start it. You have eight seconds to plug this into the door. As soon as you do, lights will go on. And the progress bar will go. See, it's going to go orange. It'll stay there for a little bit. It's waiting for lock. Let's get you closer, so just in case we can see. So now it's done. Cold start finished. Leave it connected right now at this time. You kind of do a little bit of balancing act. Because while it's still connected, now that the cold start's done, then we can put in the fresh batteries. One, two, and three. Now that it's in, the next step, we have to set system ID. This lets it know that this lock belongs to the Carrington system. Now we hit set. It takes a moment, it'll be orange. Now, system ID finished. You want to wait, after you hit OK or even then, even before. Don't do anything else until this light turns off. Now it's off, next step. Now after you set the ID, you have to upload the firmware. For all standard locks, like any door locks, we're going to use this 31736one. That's for all the normal locks. The, uh, the elevator controller for the elevators and the remote controllers are the those bigger locks by the garages or the entrances. But right now, it's normally it's a standard lock we do this for. So you select standard lock, then you upload. Now you wait, we'll go, you should Now he's waiting for this to finish this step. Yeah, it's going, see it's progress going, it's a little slow, but it goes. Okay. Now it's done. I'll put from a finish. Yep. Now the next step is initialize lock. That's where we tell this lock. Now it's in our system. It has the ID. Now we need to tell it what door is it. Like we can, if we're messing around, we can make this be a certain somebody's anybody's apartment door. But no, this is the copy room door. We go to offices. Where is it? Copy supply room. Choose that, and then we choose initialize. Now it's gonna go. I'm gonna wait for this to go. 
Initialization finished. There you go. Yeah. Sometimes you may need to set time in lock. Hey, uh, there Generally, it does it in that initialization, yeah. but just to be safe, I set time. That's just for if we're doing, uh, saying in the future we need, to, we need to do a door report, the time is right because I there are times I've done them and uh, it's an eight hour difference and we're just, we're, we're, we're playing with, we're just, we're playing around. So, now that's done, we will look at the parameters. We can do, click on the top left, parameters, then we'll do a readout. Now in here, there is one thing you need to check. Generally, it's always right. There's one issue down here in the lock property section. How's it going, Lee? This here about the battery, 4.5 4, 4. Yeah, volt battery lock case. Sometimes there's something in there that says extra lock pulse. That we don't want. It'll drain the batteries. We learned this the hard way. It drains batteries, kills the batteries. They're locked in. You have to do this every other day. That we don't want to do. So in case you ever see that, after you already reprogrammed the lock completely, We'll go to configure lock, unless you're still connected. In this drop down, we actually want to, you'll scroll down, there's a, actually a section for that. Right. Let's find it, where is it? See? See, there's two different things. There's the 4.5 value lock case, and then there's the extra lock pulse. We don't want the extra lock pulse. We're going to set the same one just without that. Hello. See? And then you can set. It'll flash, and it's configured finished. With that, that lock pulse is what drains the batteries. We learned it the hard way. Just to double check every time. If there's a, if there's a door you notice that keeps on dying, check for that, because that might be the issue. Or we're using the bad batteries. Now that we're done, we're all set. We're done here. I'm gonna do another door. You can always, you always wanna test. It's good to go. Voila.